Hi, welcome back with me plan do home and garden. This time, I'll give you video about 10 beautiful shrubs with white flowers. Well, before go to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports this channel. Also, you can turn on the bell for more updated videos. Okay, let's go to the video. Shrubs with white flowers are great for brightening up dark areas of the landscape, and many are known for their fragrant blooms. As a design element, a bush with white flowers conveys a sense of purity. They are often used as the basis for moon gardens, which are designed to be enjoyed at night. Some white-flowered shrubs are prized primarily for the spring color they bring to the garden, while others save a bit of their beauty for fall when the fall foliage is the star of the show. Here are 10 great choices if you are considering white shrubs for your landscape. Number 1. Viburnum carlesii. Viburnum carlesii is an example of a shrub that boasts early spring flowers, April, as well as fall color. The buds are pink, but then open to become clusters of white flowers. The bush is named for its fragrance, which contains a combination of sweetness and sharpness. If your soil does not have the acidity preferred by viburnums, a yearly feeding with an acid-enhanced fertilizer will improve its flowering. Mulching the base of the shrub with pine needles can also improve soil acidity. Number 2. Common Lilac. For a purely sweet smell, it is hard to beat the fragrance of the common lilac bush, which is available in whites as well as in the familiar lavender slash purple. But if you are seeking plants for a hedge that will screen out prying eyes during the summer season, the height of the common lilac is a decided benefit. Unlike Korean spice viburnum, common lilac is a late spring bloomer, but it makes up for the weight by bearing larger racemes of flowers. More than most shrubs, lilacs need a well-drained location, as they may refuse to bloom if they have too much moisture. Don't bother to plant them in a boggy location, or be prepared to heavily amend the soil to improve drainage. Number 3. Japanese Andromeda. Some people dislike the aroma, while others love it. So before you grow this bush, find one and bloom somewhere and see if it passes the smell test for you. Beyond the bell-shaped flowers, the benefits of growing Andromeda include evergreen foliage offering winter interest, leaves that offer an attractive red color, and an early bloom period. Andromeda shrubs grow to 9 to 12 feet. In colder climates, Japanese Andromeda can dry out due to cold winds in winter. You can protect the plant by wrapping burlap around them in late fall. Number 4. Mock Orange. If you enjoy experiencing fragrances in the garden but dislike strong smells, mock orange may be just right for you. Its aroma will not blow you away, but a refined nose can detect a hint of citrus in its blossoms. This is a rather big shrub, reaching 12 feet tall with a similar width. Mock orange can become overgrown fairly quickly, so a rejuvenation pruning, hard pruning that cuts the bush back low to the ground, is a good idea every few years. Number 5. Azaleas. Azaleas can bloom in early spring or late spring, depending on the variety. Hardiness zones and sizes depend on variety, there are azaleas suitable for most climates from zones 3 to 9, and in sizes ranging from 2 to 3 feet to 15 feet. Azaleas are excellent in woodland settings, the foliage is unremarkable after the flowers have faded, although some varieties have pleasing fall colors. Unless your soil has the natural acidity preferred by azaleas, feed them with an acid-enhanced fertilizer formulated for acid-loving plants such as rhododendrons, camellias, and azaleas. Number 6. Dwarf Deutzia. What makes Dwarf Deutzia so special is that, despite being a shrub, it can function as a ground cover. This is because it stays so short and is wider than it is tall, 2 feet tall with a spread of 5 feet. The flowers may be small, but they are double and numerous, this is a late spring bloomer, with small but fragrant bell-shaped flowers. The foliage on the dwarf variety turns an attractive burgundy in fall. Individual branches are fairly short-lived, so this shrub needs regular pruning. Number 7. Roses. According to the meanings assigned to the various rose colors, white roses signify reverence and humility. If such concerns are too fanciful for your tastes, you may be drawn more to roses by their beauty and their smell. 
No fragrance garden is complete without rose bushes. Roses have a reputation for being finicky, but there are some types, such as shrub roses, that are quite easy to grow. Like most plants with large flowers, roses are heavy feeders. Use a slow-release granular fertilizer formulated for roses. Number 8. Spirea. Like roses, to which they are related, shrubs in the Spirea genus also bloom in early summer. Spirea likes full sun and grows to be 5 to 8 feet tall and 7 to 10 feet wide. It blooms in April or May. Spireas has fairly good tolerance for drought conditions once mature, but while young it is important to keep the plants well watered. Mulching the soil will help keep it moist. Number 9. Hydrangea. Hydrangea is another early summer bloomer, and there are excellent white versions available in all four of the main types, smooth hydrangeas, big leaf hydrangeas, panicle hydrangeas, and oak leaf hydrangeas. A wonderful choice for admirers of white flowers is the incredible hydrangea. The huge flower clusters will last right through fall, although the color changes to brown. The ideal location for most hydrangeas will provide sun in the morning, shade in the heat of the afternoon. Planting is best done in spring and fall. Number 10. Snows of Kilimanjaro. Another white flowering option is Snows of Kilimanjaro, a tropical shrub with a rounded shape, growing 6 to 10 feet with a spread of 4 to 6 feet. As with the poinsettias, flowering comes into bloom as the days shorten. When the fragrant white flowers emerge, the bush reminds you of a giant snowball. To promote that look, give the plant a severe pruning back in early spring, then another in early summer. Wear gloves when you prune because some people are allergic to its milky sap. Thanks for watching my video about 10 beautiful shrubs with white flowers. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Well, see you in the next videos.